Live, the news on NBC6 starts now. Keeping seniors safe and active during uh, all the more cases that are cropping up locally of the virus, I'm going to talk to folks at John Knox Village about the ways they're helping elderly stay connected to the outside world. In these times of COVID-19, many seniors are isolated away from their families. John Knox Village is a senior facility care center and they've come up with innovative ways to keep their clients entertained and connected to their families and the world. Monica McAfee is their chief marketing officer and she joins us right now. How do you manage during these difficult times, Monica? Trina, as um, everyone knows, this is such a challenging time for so many people all around the world, and especially for people who are living um, in a demographic where they're more susceptible to COVID-19. We've worked really uh, just tirelessly on trying to get everyone uh, here at JKV keeping them healthy, safe, and happy. And the way we've done that is by engaging them. Technology has been our friend throughout this whole process. We're a life plan community um, in Pompano Beach. So we have residents here who are healthy, living active lives, 62 up to, uh, we have someone who's 104 here at JKV. In the traditional healthcare settings, which we would be known as skilled nursing or memory care, we're really using technology to especially keep those residents connected with their family members, as well as keeping them cognitively stimulated. We have a number of software programs that we use to help them continue to travel, continue to travel the world. Um, Mind VR enables them to virtually travel all around the world, go skydiving, be with uh, puppies, you know, really enjoy animals in the wild. Uh, so that's been really fabulous for our, our residents in the healthcare setting. Um, also, just of course, keeping them connected through Facebook, through Zoom, and even in some cases, um, of course, during those really difficult times at the end of life with special uh, dispensation to, you know, somehow allow family members to be with their loved ones. But the most important thing is to keep them healthy, safe, and well, and of course, following uh, all the governor's orders on how we do that and keeping them. And Monica, to on say that it, note. isolated but still connected and that's what's most important then for our independent living residents we've been able with physical distancing to continue to have fitness classes outdoors, um, even indoors when the uh, governor lifted the, those mandates. Um, we really have such a unique culture here at Don Knox Village, and the residents are starving and hungry for that connection, not only with the, the residents, their neighbors, but also with the staff. We have um, cocktail hour. We have a, a cart that goes around, and we're able to provide um, cocktail hour. Of course, um, unbelievable music uh, opportunities with performances by musicians. Of course, everyone coming onto campus having been screened to make sure that they're healthy, um, doing temperatures, and of course, the physical distancing, but always keeping people engaged. We created um, a life enrichment at home guide where we've connected with uh, museums and performance opportunities all around the world. So that's how our residents have been able to stay connected, not only with their family through technology, but through the broader community and, of course, just on campus by providing physical distancing and still keeping our residents engaged with the arts and humanities. All right, Monica, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Trina. It was a pleasure. Take care and stay well. You too.